in five, four, three, two, one. What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new terrifyingly terrible video on my tragic channel. Guys, today we are doing, oh, what? What? I, I look, something looks different? What? My background's the same? Oh, you guys noticed the chair. Yes, this is a new chair, guys, but it's actually quite old. I've had it around for quite a while, actually, but you guys wouldn't know that because I only use this chair when I'm live streaming. And uh, the, the background behind me, it's it's actually a green screen, guys. Yes, it's not really there. That That's a PNG. It's an image, okay? I just took a picture of my background. I put it behind me. But anyway, the point is, the point is, guys, we're not alone, okay? Joined with me today is... There we go. Hey, the live stream chat. Hey, how you guys doing, guys? I am doing this as a first time live scary story reading video and I'm doing it live on my Twitch channel, but I thought it would be really fun to edit it together and actually make a YouTube video. So if that idea sounds interesting to you guys or you think it's cool, let me know down below in the comments. I'm really looking forward to getting some feedback and critique about it. But anyways, guys, before we get started with today's scary story, I want to give a quick shout out to our wonderful sponsor, Survey Compare. Survey Compare, of course, is the best place to take online surveys and actually get paid. Yeah, it's the best. It's the best. That's where... Damn right, damn right. With Survey Compare, you can take as many or as few surveys as you want and make just about as much money as you want in the process. Now, granted, guys, these surveys are not gonna make you a millionaire, okay? But it's a great way to just make a little extra dough. The more surveys you take, the more access you get to surveys that actually pay you more. Not to mention, some surveys even give you free prizes. It doesn't get better than that. So, guys, if you're looking for a great and simple way to make a little extra money, click the link and try out Survey Compare today. Guys, did I scare you away? Come back, come back. There you go. Okay, welcome back. How you guys doing, okay? Now I know what you're thinking. This is probably really weird. Terry, why are you doing this live? Why do you got a live chat thing? You haven't done one of these things since you did your outdoor Korean vlog things, and those were real weird. Okay. Do you want your mobile phone back? But you know what, guys? I thought it would be fun, okay? And I'm all about trying out new content. So really, if you guys think this is cool and you guys think it's fun, let me know down below in the comments, and we'll be sure to do more. And without further ado, guys, let's begin with today's story. Today's scary story is called Footstep by Suhan. Our story begins on an apartment building. We're looking at it from the outside. We see a man. He's wearing a ball cap. We can't see his eyes, but appears that he's huffing as if he's out of breath. Oh, dude, right away, we see the scuff right there. Boom, that's gotta be a new record. That's gotta be the fastest we've ever seen the scuff ever. Anyways, uh, back to the story. The man appears in front of a keypad. It appears that he's going to enter or knock or ding dong ding dong dong ding ding dong um, um, um. inside the apartment building we see a man a young man who seems to be well no he is he's eating as the doorbell rings the boy man gets up from eating he doesn't look too amused I guess he ordered a package or something we hear another huff and a huff. Beep, beep, beep. He enters a couple of buttons on his uh, keypad. Who is it? He asks on the telecom. <sighs> <sighs> okay, that was a little too much ASMR. It's clearly a delivery man, but he says nothing. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. If that was a pizza man, that's gotta be like the creepiest way to ever get your pizza delivered to you. Okay, I'm just saying. Package delivery. Ah, I'm in 402. I'll open the door for you. Beep. And with that, he hangs up. What this mysterious package could be, we still have yet to fa <sighs> oh, oh, Thank you. The man, uh, what the, is he calling me a loser? The young man holds up his hand and then puts it down. <sighs> that was faster than I expected. That was the first sound right there. Well, I'm not complaining. I'd better get back to my food. And just like that, nom, 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 the man starts eating again. I wonder what he's eating, dude. I mean, it must be some good food if he freaking cares about it so much. Tap, tap, tap. It seems we hear more tapping sounds. And Okay, doesn't sound so bad. It's just somebody walking. I live in a little four-story building. Since this building is so old and narrow, you can hear every footstep that comes from the hallway. Oh, well. I've gotten used to it by now. He continues chewing. Nom, nom, nom. But the tapping gets louder. 
and deadlier. The thud, or footsteps, or or freaking I don't know. Tyrannosaurus Rex continues. Are those someone else's footsteps? He wonders to himself. And now, he says nothing, but concentrates on the sound. Is someone coming up with him? Well, whatever. He continues eating his food, but now we hear more stomping, more footsteps, and thudding, and more footsteps. Huh? The man wonders what's going on, and, and I'm wondering too. Who walks like that, dude? That's a freaking T-Rex. He's got a freaking dinosaur coming up to see him. Four, five, no. It sounds like more and more people. The thudding continues. Just how many people could be coming up to see him? Either the delivery man really needs to work on how he walks, or he's got a pet dinosaur. The man huffs and huffs, and he goes toward the door. Another skull right there. Actually, I'm not sure if the man is huffing or if someone outside is huffing. <sighs> the, it, it's like a weird breathing. It, oh my goodness. Okay, if that's what's coming up, man, I get the hell out of Dodge. The thudding continues. The man listens. <sighs> Oh, stop. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for that ASMR. Unnecessary, unwarranted ASMR. Thank you. I don't know who's breathing. I think, I think that's the young man. Okay, I don't think that's the delivery guy, right? The man listens. He creeps up along the, the door. We don't hear anything just yet. The man is now huffing himself. <sighs> Out of breath. Creaks open the door. We see shoes and feet. Just one set. It's the delivery man. He's by himself. Here's your package. Ah, uh, right. He says nothing except thank you. Okay, red flag right there. Why is the delivery man thanking him for accepting the package? That's not how it works. You thank the delivery man. Phew, jeez, that scared the hell out of me. Then, what were all those footsteps before? <sighs> Was I just hearing things? Phew. Just then, the thudding and the tapping continues and it's getting louder and faster. The man slams the door open again. He looks down the stairs. There's still nobody there except the delivery man. So who could be making all that freaking noise? Dude, it's annoying. <sighs> he looks at the delivery man. The delivery man looks back. And he smiles. And he walks away. Just like that. What the hell? <sighs> What's going on? The man goes back to his room. Silence. But then... The sounds return. The footsteps. Oh! What the f well, That's the end of the story. Okay. Uh, um, well... Questions, comments, concerns on... On that one? Wow. That was interesting, guys. I think I kind of got the ending. Chat, you can let me know what you guys think. Guys, you can let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I personally think the package was cursed of, I don't know, spirits or demons or something, and and they were chasing after the original package dude, right? And he handed it off to that guy, and now it's his problem? He got stomped. Literally. That's a good one, uh, Ma May Kai 8. 
Guys, let me know what you thought about that story down below in the comments. I, I, I thought it was pretty good. I really enjoyed the sound effects for this one. I think that the sound effects can really play an important part of making a good and scary story. And I think this one really did a good job. Granted, uh, there wasn't really as many jump scares as you would typically see. But you know what? It made up for it because that creepy, weird, twisty ass ending plus the... the the weird sound effects. I thought there was a T-Rex on his way to the fourth floor. That's what I thought, okay? You know what? That's still my theory. You, you don't know, guys. We, we didn't see what happened, okay? A T-Rex could still be making his way to the fourth floor. You, you never know. But, uh, yeah, guys. That will about do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you're new because I upload videos just about every day. And guys, for my returning subscribers, please let me know what you thought about this kind of video. If you guys enjoyed it, if you guys enjoyed seeing the chat and me doing this whole thing live, the uh, crappy green screen. As you guys know, I do a lot of live streams on my Twitch channel and I wanted to do something kind of like a mix of a live stream, but also one of my normal videos and I kind of just decided to mix the two. All right, chat, we got to say goodbye now, okay? We got to say goodbye, all right? So do it with me. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time, we will see you guys in the next video. Good night.